But I say, am I up yet? Am I live yet? I think I'm live. Yeah, I'm live. What in the hell did subtitles do? What is that random letter bullshit? Subtitles go home, you're drunk. Anyway, before I finish up the last of my social media outreach things, hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We're doing some Hildebrand quests, but I'm not in the right starting zone for it, so we're gonna fix that. One second, though, hang on. Or rather, one minute, because I think this is gonna take it just a tad longer than that. Live with... Beetle... Fantasy... 14... Throat final, not fetal. Can't say I'm writing the wrong message. Okay, there we go. Done. Alrighty, we're good to go. Sorry about that. Now I'm in the wrong location for this. Rather, for what I intend to do. But not what I was doing last night. Where's my Hildebrand stuff? Shit, I hit the wrong button. Uh, Hildebrand! Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Where's Hildebrand? It's my Hildebrand shit. Where's my Hildebrand quests? Is this it? No, no it's not. Uh... The fuck is it? Who the fuck is it? I'm... I'm actually mildly upset. What the fuck? Hildebrand? Where's my side quest? There we go. Rise and fall of gentlemen. Is this... Do I not have it? Have I not started the next quest? Where do I go? Oh shit. I'm not prepared. I thought I was. Uh. Okay, you know what? When in doubt, look it up, but go to Ulda first. Okay, good, good plan. Good enough plan. Good enough plan. While I look this up, we do have a tradition that I should probably uphold, but I need to find out where the hell to go now. Build brand quests. One sec. Is it a level 60 quest and I totally botched it? Do I not know this? Why did I not start the next one? Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. Where's my quest button? Yeah, that's not a thing I've started yet. Okay, so I need to go to... Where do I need to go? I had it up just a moment ago, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. Oh my god, stop disappearing! I'm trying to get this shit done! The Mandeville Men... Vesper Bay, The Footfalls. Western Thanalyn. All right, Western Thanalan, over here. Good enough. We'll just do that. We'll continue onward. But before we continue onward and start any of this shit, we have a tradition here at the Dude Run Does Things live streams. So for those of you just joining, please shove one hand in your pants and salute. You'll see why in a moment. It's it's a theme thing we got going. So just yeah, let's do that.
There we go. That was it. Painless, right? Very painless. Very painless. It was just a song. That's it. Alright, so I think the Hildebrand quest starts here. Can I go through the fucking... I can't go through it. Shit. Also, yes, I have the car now. Very happy I have the car now. I can't fly here with it, but I like that I have the car now. I can now pull up to my friends and be all like, Get in, loser, we're going shopping. It's great. I haven't had anyone to do that with yet, though. Not just yet. Eventually. The three collectors, what's this? Oh, this is the one. Okay, so for those of you that missed it, this is a quest line about an undead man, detective, his plucky assistant, and then some guy named Gilgamesh who just happened to be around. And there's a chicken. Yeah. Anywho. Allow me to summarize our current plan of action. Our destination is the observatorium, and our mission is to pose as goodly small folk, in accordance with Inspector Briardjin's... Briardjin's instructions. I don't know how to pronounce the guy. The guy's name. Whatever. Fine. Naturally, should the situation demand improvisation, we have to disregard those instructions. Any questions? No? Then let us sally forth at once! Okay. Observatorium. Where is that? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Wait, no, that's not it. I have to turn in another quest here anyway, so I might as well just do that. Sorry, I gotta talk to the... The guy who sends me on extreme primal missions. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna start working on this slice of pizza that I've had sitting here for a few minutes. Mushroom, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Probably no one was, but I... I like it, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter what he's saying. It's not Hildebrand. Does he have another... No, he doesn't. Good. I'm all caught up with that. Oh, wait, did he give me one? No, he didn't. Okay, good. I was afraid he had another extreme quest for me. <clears throat> I don't normally fight primals. Which makes me the worst warrior of light there is. I normally just do dungeons. Okay, observatorium is in Kirthus. Oh, that observatorium! Okay. I see what's going on now. I see where we gotta go. We gotta go where those smart people are at. To correct subtitles, I had said we have to go where the smart people are at. So people that are not me. I'm not going to stick around there very long. I think they don't like me. We're going to pull up in the Regalia and just be like, What up, bitches? I don't think they like a car just being around. Oh, can I fly in there? No, I can't yet. I can't at all. There isn't a, this isn't a flying zone. I'm disappointed. Why couldn't I bring Hildebrand, What's-Her-Face, and Gilgamesh, and the chicken, in my car? I'm sure the chicken would like the open air. Blowing past its face. What is this? Oh, it's a leather meat thing. What is this? Is this the guy I'm supposed to speak with? Yes, it is. Okay. Hello, Cell Sword. 
Hail to thee, fellow servant of justice! But I pretend some of us are the same. When some of us shine brighter, here's a chance to find your flame. Are you a loser or a fighter? I'm not a pony, if that's what you're asking. Not a pony song. <laughs> I think it is, dude. I think it is. Better it's a Mortal Kombat song. Though I don't think they, that was ever a musical. Take it to one of the many tasks with transporting a count of a treaty blade. Clearly you're mistaking me for someone else, sir. At ease, Sergeant. They're with us more small folk. Keep an eye on them, or else. What is he on about? But they- but I say- Bugger me. Don't you bloody move till I get back. Okay. I say, is this land always so inhospitable? The biting winds, the endless snows. Mayhap keeping active will help me to stay warm. Oh, and should I chance to find a thieving duelist, I will of course summon you. After administrating the requisite beating. <laughs> okay, bye Gilgamesh. Where's Mary and Eli? I don't know. Not with me tonight, but yeah. We just haven't hung out in a long time, so we hung out last night on stream. And now that we've hung out and they've gone back to their busy lives and I've gone back to my busy life, it's time to get back to everything else. So they're busy, I guess, or they're having, they're doing other things. That's called slurping. They could be slurping, but they're allowed to slurp each other. Good, you're still... Wasn't there someone else with you a moment ago? Ah, oh, you speak of Greg. <laughs> We just started calling Gilgamesh Greg, yeah? No, Cole, don't slurp me. I don't allow this. I don't consent. He ventured outside the gates mere moments before your arrival, full eager to catch the thief. As are we! Come, Nashu! We must answer the call of duty. We're going to be Black Ops! The Black Ops 4! Don't slurp, Hildebrand! I'm pretty sure that's ne necrophilia. That is necrophilia. He's actually a dead guy who came back to life. Don't do that. You look like you might actually be useful. Why don't you have a word with my man near the east gates? We're on demand over there. I'll slurp cell sword sergeant. I think he would appreciate that. What is in here? What quest is this? Fort of Fear. I feel like I should have probably done this quest at the time. But I'll save that for when, I, when my uh, astrologist is level 44. Hmm. Lip. See that just now? No? Hmm. I don't think me eyes are playing tricks on me. There's only one way to be sure. You ain't there. I'll slurp the stream in your screen. You're not allowed to. My stream and screen are of not the age for slurping. The correct age for streaming equipment is infinity years old, so, uh... You got a long way to wait. There are only like three. Three or four. What is it, Nashu? Pray tell what you see. Ha <laughs> ha! I see you, demon bird. No one will escape me this time. What? Why, hello there, my friends. Is Artemis. Oh, it's just Greg. For a moment, I thought you might have spotted our thief. Come, Nashu. We have lingered here for over long. We must egress post haste. Post haste. Oh, good. Subtitles corrected itself. 
I'll slurp demon bird. I think that's bestiality. And that might be illegal in this state. Is this just a running joke? You want to slurp things that are illegal to slurp? Oh my god, there's a little snowman in the background. No luck, huh? We have scoured every ilm of this area to no avail. I can only conclude that having learned that his opponent was to be the legendary Inspector Hildebrand, the duelist renounced his criminal ways and retreated into hiding. Asmer? Where? Sorry, did the did the eating do the do a bad? I'm sorry. Perhaps he's waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons to leave. That being said, should you decide to venture into the wilderness, you had best arm yourself with more than your wits. That's what I'm here for. I was just acting dramatic. Okay. I guess that's fine then. I'll fight for you, Inspector. I even found a weapon to use. Oh wow, that's a spear. What? I the Twelve, is that the self-same spear which propelled me to the Red Moon? Wherever did you find it? It was buried in the snow. But one cannot ignore the will of destiny. Return it to me, Nashu. Though I will still endeavor to avoid fisticuffs. I will duly- I will be duly armed should the worst come to worst. I fucked that up. Now then! We begin our search for the duelist to the east of the observatorium. Okay. Is that Spearwoman? Sure. It's Nashu. Nashu. There we go. Subtitles worked. May I? No. For the same reason you can't slurp Hildebrand. Which really isn't the same reason, actually, now that I think about it, because she's not dead. He is. She's not. I think she's she's a cat person, so you don't want to get her wet. <laughs> you said the O word. Where fall out thou, my nefarious nemesis? It was not the self-same creature, but one of many. Nevertheless, I know that my weapon is close by. Old man is the O word? Yes. You sense it too, don't you? I like that chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's a chicken. That is a chicken. That is a green chicken. It can climb mountains. I think that's what green chocobos could do. Greg, I've been meaning to ask. Why do you covet this weapon so? You can't say the E and O word. Or you could say Captain EO. That's fine. But that doesn't really reference old or elderly. If a few but beheld it, you would understand. In some ways it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respects it was quite different. Old caption dude. That's... Not even close. It was crowned with a magnificent axe blade. To which was hell to which was welded a musket barrel. That's the that's the gun. That's the Is that a gun blade with a spear? It's a gun blade pike. It's a gun pike. It's not captain. Oops. Yeah you fudged it. It was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Ah, uh, how I yearned to reclaim it. The strongest of spears. 
That's it. That's totally it. <laughs> the chicken out at him. A weapon of yours bears a striking resemblance to the strongest of spears. I claimed this weapon five years ago. Surely you can't be serious. Why you call me Charlie? Not matter. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wait. Right. This spear, I have traveled to the very heavens. I will not relinquish it again. Something they would use in Ruby. Friendship ruined. The spirit I have bested many a man together. I will not relinquish it again. That is stalemate, right there. But we are at an impasse. It seems they are. Seen the <laughs> Yep. I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, Inspector. Thanks to you, we've caught the weapon thief in the act. What? Miss Ellie, you are grossly misreading our dispute. Meg is a good, honest man who I'm certain has never stolen a weapon in his life. Indeed, I have not. Every weapon I have claimed was by rights mine. Oh. What? Each was a trophy for besting my opponent in single combat. Wait, what? Bastard! I believe that constitutes a confession. Seize him. Confession to what? I have not- I have done not wrong. You are all beyond reason. The first gun pike in this whole game. But not the first gun blade. The first gun blade's coming up in the next expansion. Ah yes, my plan to secure Greg's confession was utterly flawless. And his capture will be the coup de grace. He's not going to catch him, is he? Yeah, he's not going to catch him. Well, my plan is thus far flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. Is that an old man? Uh, who? Hildebrand? Briardian? Or Gilgamesh? The answer is probably yes. Briardian. Probably? I don't know. It's Final Fantasy. So white hair doesn't really mean age. Even so, your strength alone will likely not suffice. I suggest you muster whatever allies you can. Dungeon time? Oh. Oh wait, no, it's probably trial time. Fuck yeah, dude! He looks like an elf. Yep. I forget what race that is. Because I don't have one. But, yeah. There's an elf-like race in Final Fantasy XIV. Held the <laughs> what the fuck? Is he dead again? Those are some nice legs. Yeah, elf is a race. Apparently, so is old dead man legs. Not sure, Miss Ellie. Ah, oh, my good woman, it is a relief to hear your footfalls. As you've doubtlessly deduced, I was unable to prevent Greg from escaping through the doors. But I must leave the rest to you. Oh, I, was th I thought he had a little more, uh, text. 
Are we about to fight on the bridge? Are we gonna fight Gilgamesh on the bridge? I think we're about to fight Gilgamesh on the bridge, guys. Fighting on bridges are not always a safe thing in most cases. Yeah, but it's a reference to an earlier Final Fantasy, I think. And 12. I forget which Final Fantasy had Gilgamesh on the bridge as well, but I know 12 was one of them. Green chick chick. Slurp. Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time. You took so long to arrive, I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Long did I wonder what your role in this was. A silent guardian, content to watch e events unfold with minimal interaction. At the last, I understand. We were fated to duel, you and I. Best be and you may have the spear. Fail and your weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you not think? I will even extend them to your allies. I, I grant you leave to summon others. After all, it will avail you no advantage. <laughs> I should probably have looked up the strategy for this guy. <coughs> Did you just... Did he just make an Ultraman reference? The Gilgamesh. It is beginning time! This chicken got bigger. <coughs> and he got bigger too, but... Wow. We're fighting on a bridge. Uh, I think a pepper flake got caught in my throat. Uh, that is an uncomfortable thing. Well, this is gonna be a long queue. This gives me time to finish my pizza. And hopefully knock that little sliver of crushed red pepper out of my fucking throat. Ugh. Pizza. Yep. Very unhealthy. You're correct, but I don't care. Eh. So how's everybody doing tonight? That's aggressively to you? I thought I was just normal eating from- that's just normal eating for me. I think I'm used to eating super fast, so... For pizza? No. Why would you use a fork and knife for pizza? It's a finger food. It's like for burgers and fries. You gotta hold the sandwich. You gotta hold the fry. My mom does that, too. And I can understand if the pizza slice is really huge that you would use a fork and knife. That was not super huge, though. 
Rather it was, but I ate enough of it to not matter. What's this little guy here? Ah, it's a little sheepy sheep. Alright. Closest thing to a sheepy sheep. Look at this little bugger. He's adorable. I want to hug him. Tell him he's adorable. Look at his little curly tail, his little bitty feet. His big round poofy butt. These guys gotta be super warm. God, they like me little they make little pitter patters. They make little pitter patters. They're adorable. I love them. I love them. I want one as a pet. Same! I don't think I'd be able to take care of it though. Ah, the pitter patter! I love them. They got a little curly nose. Why do they have a little curly nose? I'm curious. <clears throat> what traits have made them have the curliest nose? Or a stuffed animal. You could probably tell Square Enix to, uh... Make a Krakul... Make a Karakul plush. K-A-R-A-K-U-L. Who dat? This. Square Enix is the developers of Final Fantasy XIV. And a Karakul is this thing. Subtitles is not spelling it correctly. But I mean this creature that I've targeted right now. K-A-R-A-K-U-L. Subtitles merged it together. Good. I know what the Karakul is. Cool. I didn't know who Enix was. Square Enix is a game developing studio in Japan. They've made Final Fantasy 1 through 15. They even made Kingdom Hearts, Bravely Default. That was the other one. Near Automata. Many other titles that I can't even think of at the moment, but those are the ones that jump out at me. I really want a Caracol as a pet. Same. I don't know why I'm eating the crust. I really don't like crust. The only way I eat crust on pizza is if I roll the remainder of the pizza up so there's still like a bit of cheese and stuff. But it's still mostly crust. Oh, shit! I wasn't ready! I was not ready for the cue to pop. You were ready. Good. I'm not even playing his theme. People are saying the bird stinks. Alright, time to fight Gilgamesh. Will chicken fight? Probably. Let's find out. I should have looked up a guide. I didn't know I'd be fighting him yet. It's only level 50, it should be fine. I don't want Shiki to fight. I don't think the chicken's going to fight and die. I think the chicken's just gonna fight. Okay, so if I become a toad, I need to run away from the chicken. Admit what? 
is just too much for me. Everyone's kind of on the other side. Not past my line. Do you need to be a white mage? No. Oh shit. What? It's a boss fight and a dungeon? Cool. It's actually kind of awesome. a reverse dungeon with eight people instead of four. I, I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna have to fight Gilgamesh again after this. Just for the fun of it. I must say I quite enjoy this battle. I feel the end of this battle. Oh, he, he has another chicken friend. Oh, he has more chicken friends. The whirlwinds. Ah! To escape something, or is it to actually? So it's just an attack. Shit. Oh, I'm good. We won? We won? Um, well then. That's enough of a beating for now. What? <laughs> it would have been even funnier if that actually worked for him. But I pre I I I enjoyed that. That was a neat take on boss fights. Having a little bit of a having a little bit of ads to fight in between each phase it was nice. Acted like a bit of a dungeon. Alone yet still armed. Hmm. In any case, he deemed satisfied with the halberd. We will proceed with the delivery. Oh? Where are we going with it? Hildebrand, you're not dead. Why, Greg? Why? Did he get his swords back? What happened? Are you dead again, Inspector? How many swords did he drop? Well, wait, doesn't that one look like Elazar's sword? But even to my untrained eye, it is obviously a counterfeit blade. And so is this one, and this one. What in the world? He didn't part with any of his swords, did he? He did nothing of the sort. Well, shit. I'm being private messaged by one of my classmates. If they're watching this, I'm sorry in advance. Actually, no, we're not classmates, but like you're older than me. You're further in your schooling than I am. I apologize profusely. But hello. Uh huh?
Why wasn't I riding my car in the first place? I do this in every game I play. I forget I have a mount. And then halfway through the walking process of going to the place, I just mount up because I forgot that I had a mount. Will that even work though? It's a counterfeit. Or it should be a counterfeit. Ah, uh, it's just more magnificent than I imagined. So make a fine addition to my collection. Good. <laughs> and with that, our business is concluded. Cheers. I genuinely mean that in your case, by the way. Do you? Because I did all the fighting for you? All's well that ends well, right, Inspector? Though it's a shame that Greg turned out to be the thief. <laughs> I like how we're just calling Gilgamesh Greg. There you are, Inspector. Why did you not wait for me at the docks? What? What? Why are, you all, why are you all staring at me so? Oh, never mind. Where's my treaty blade? Didn't we just give you the treaty blade? It seems we've been had. Oh. We have been had! Disguise yourself as the client and let the treaty blade come to you. <clears throat> Take advantage of an existing situation to distract us from the real crime. Brilliant. Man in red never spoke of the treaty blade, only the halberd. Moreover, he was al always if he always issued his challenges in person. Though it's not Greg. So who is it? Gods, isn't it obvious? What is it like in your funny little brains? It must be so boring. <laughs> so, Briar here is Sherlock Holmes. If the man in red did not send the challenge, then who did? What? Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what in the f- He's dead now, isn't he? Nope! He's just mortally wounded. Hildebrand took that a whole lot better. A whole lot better. <laughs> I believe it is addressed to me, condescending Inspector Briardrian. Right. Piss off. 400 years have I slept. 1,000 faces do I wear. What is yours will be mine. I shall come to claim the Lapis Maiden's virtue. Many-faced phantom thief. Interesting. Are we fighting Joker? We're not- we're fighting Joker, aren't we? I hope we're fighting Joker. Design and the wording are the same as before. The thief who stole the treaty blade sent this. Yeah, they did. Probably. Glad to see you're following along. Very well! I and I alone, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, 
It's Inspector and Strodonair, once more accept your challenge. <laughs> they misaligned the the, sp the the lens flare. And he's going nuts. What a challenge, huh? Face uh, stand and face me, you buffoon! It'd be great if I could read the English language. Or any language for that matter. That statue doesn't look like it was there before. Then again, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Maria's having a good time. Oh, right, the statue was there before, and I just haven't paid attention. How dare you all laugh at a time like this, after allowing my precious treaty blade to be stolen. And you, Maria. She's genuinely enjoying herself. Don't ruin this. I suppose it is a little funny, isn't it? The two of them dashing to and fro. Pair of gentlemen mummers. You know, it's been far too long since I've, we've seen a show. We should head into the city later, just you and me. Not bad, Hildy. Not bad at all. You're indeed a Mandeville man. That he is. Mark! Mark my face, oh phantom of many faces! What is the face of... <laughs> yeah, spit everywhere. With that one. That was entertaining. What's next? Or do we have a little cutscene in between the quest lines to mark like a new episode? Yes, we do! <laughs> the fiend dares lay claim to the maiden, the fair maiden's virtues. Her seeds of jealousy quicken with an inspector's soul. Can true love bloom on this battlefield? Will this Mandeville man find his Mandeville wife? Probably not. I'll probably get a card thrown at his face again. And not feel it. What? What's with the goggles those men were wearing? It looks special. Maybe if I ask nicely, they'll give me a pair. I guess we'll find out next time. Probably. You weren't wearing that before. You were making that expression at some point, I'm sure. Probably. Let's be honest. He probably makes that a lot <coughs> in his mirror. Ah, there you are. I've been doing some investigating of my own since we were last parted. I believe I found our Lapis Maiden. The girl's name is Arabella, member of one Master Gugurimu. Gugurimu? Gugurimu? Google Remove? Prominent member of the East Aldenar Trading Company. Aldenar Trading Company. Wasn't that... Wasn't that Ulda? I believe that was an Ulda. Subtitles doesn't want to say it, but whatever. Her eyes and hair are a most exceptional shade of blue. Her beauty is the talk of the Sultanate. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Ulda. Her purported beauty, I should say. You see, none have actually seen the girl in the flesh. Apparently her father is the overprotective sort. Some say that the maiden has never set foot outside the family's well-guarded estate. I'm blue. Daba dee daba die. Maybe I'm the girl in blue. Probably not. All that is about to change. Rumor has it that the girl is to be wed. Not just to anyone, mind you. The heir of the... Brigera Consortium. Okay. Why? This sounds like a land ploy. A land plot. So, I don't know. She's got huge tracts of land and the person wants it. Okay. Formal announcement is set to be made at a commemorative feast to be jointly hosted by the two family businesses. The venue has costed us all 
where preparations are going on as we speak. Word on the street is that the bride-to-be will be making a rare public appearance. Okay, cool. You mean... her only public appearance? Or has she made a public appearance at some point in the past? It is here that the thief intends to strike. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that, we're good. Couldn't be more certain of it. Picked your interest, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Grimjaw, how you doing? This is one scoop I'm not going to miss, and you're welcome to come along. Good, thank you, Ellie. I'm going to come along anyway. It wasn't a question of whether or not I wanted to, I was going to. Because I do want to. But whatever. Alright. All right, that's a shark in a barrel. I have never noticed that. I like that shark in a barrel. I want it from I want it for shark in a barrel purposes. You're not one of my associates. This banquet is for invited guests only. If you have no business here, be on your way at once. Nice mustache there, kid. Beg pardon, good sir. My name is Ellie, reporter of the Mithril Eye. I might have just a moment of... Ah, yes, that two-gill sensational rag. I read your tiresome screed about the self-styled phantom thief and his letter of challenge. If you've come to tell me my daughter is in danger, I can assure you that your concern is entirely unwarranted. It is warranted if your guards are in on it, or dead. They're probably gonna die, let's be honest. You're gonna conveniently die. That's my... That's my assessment of the story. I've not kept my Arabelle safe to this day to see her whisked away from me by some fly-by-night rogue. Excuse you! I take offense to that, I'm a ninja. I'm not the one doing the whisking away, but you don't sully the good name of rogues like that. I have spared no expense in securing the best protection that money can buy. Oh my god, they've got a greaser. Is that the Empire, by the way? The brass blades of the Gerbera. An elite unit of the most lethal swordsmen in the Sultanate. If they say one of them... They say one of them caused the man's heart to burst just by looking at him askance. Askant? Askance? How do you... Askance. Okay, that's how you pronounce that. According to subtitles. The moment they lay eyes on the would-be thief, they will be his last. Or her. The thief's, if the thief is obliging enough to allow himself to be seen, or do those goggles serve some purpose other than making the wearer look utterly ridiculous? Oh. I wasn't paying attention to who was speaking. Insulting Inspector Briadrin. Your reputation precedes you. And what, pray tell, would you propose? I've promised some of the wealthiest men in the realm that my daughter will be attending the festivities. To renege on my word would have dire implications for the family trade. My proposal is a simple one. Entrust the investigation to me. The thief will be in shackles before the banquet commences, and it will cost you not a whit of your precious gill. It will cost 10,000 gill. And that's it. You probably have a whole lot more. Very well. Let us see if your reputation is deserved. But consider yourself warned. Greater fortunes than you will ever, will ever know hinge upon this banquet. I will not tolerate any disturbances. Fair enough, Mr. Bird... Footprint... Shirt... What is that even? 
Is that a dinosaur footprint shirt? I think he likes dinosaurs. I'm calling it now. Such touching concern for his coin purse. If only he could muster the same for his daughter. Yeah. That'd be great. Though I'm pretty sure he heard you. I do tell, Inspector. After he slipped under our noses the last time, what makes you so confident you can catch our thief this time around? Good question. Our men may boast a thousand faces, but he has but a single modus operandi. And it is painfully obvious. A letter of challenge. A precious treasure whisked away from its rightful owner in the broad light of day. This tells me that our thief is an attention seeker with supreme confidence in his abilities. Doubtless he means to take... To target the maiden using the same method he used to abscond the treaty blade. Okay. Your glasses aren't falling down when you do that, you know. Well, that might be an engine limitation. Wouldn't that still be kind of a thing you can animate, though? Even now, the fiend is in our midst. Having assumed the identity of someone who will be clo in close proximity to Miss Arabella at the feast. I have already narrowed the field. Have you? Arabella's betrothed, Vanis be an obvious target for our thief. So too would be his father, Mogant. Yalto Nalto and his wife, Sainana, the guests of honor, will give a toast to the couple's happiness. Both of them will be standing close to the target where the bride-to-be is set to appear. Too tiny? Probably. Needless to say, we cannot outrule Ugarimu himself. Finally, we have Lewinhart, a steward of Guguremu's estate and Miss Arabella's personal attendant. Maybe. And then any of the guards. All the key players, save for the Lapis Maiden herself, is, have assembled in Costa de Sol. Doubtless the Phantom Thief lurks among them, his face concealed, gathering information and planning his course of attack. And it looks like they're drinking on the job, so that makes his the Thief's job a little easier. We'll begin our questioning of the suspects immediately. Should you encounter any suspicious individuals, you're to report back to me at once. What? The fuck? What was that? Hildebrand Mandeville! I can stench- smell the stench of idiocy and incompetence from a mile away. This is all mine, contriving expected by Adrian. Forgive me for not revealing myself sooner. I was so much talking of it for all I undercover investigative work. But to see through my ingenious disguise with such ease. Yes, I dare say, all powers of observation rival even my own. Fear not, friends. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have arrived to defend the maiden's daughter as only a mandible man can. Can he please get up now? <laughs> <laughs> the fish. Oh, he's got goggles on. Nice. That's a properly positioned lens flare, but still a little too far to the right. At least it's on his teeth for once. He does realize there's still a fish on his head, doesn't he? I think he can't even feel anything anymore. I can't... I don't believe he feels anything. Because he had a card embedded in his forehead in, like, two episodes. Two episodes ago. And he didn't even react to it. I don't even think he pulled it out for a while. I think someone else did. Good inspector. I realize we may not see eye to monocle in the past, but a fair maiden's virtue, mayhap even her very life, is at stake. From one gentleman to another, let us put aside our differences. Yes, I would welcome your assistance in this case. Me? Assist you! And you're a funny man. Yes. Yes, he is a funny man. 
Apparently someone doesn't think he's funny, though. You know who I'm talking about! Probably. I don't know if you're still watching. Whatever. Oh, it makes no matter. My plan is so flawless that not even your bungling can interfere this time. If you wish to assist me, you may do so by keeping watch over the suspects. How has that fish not fallen off his head when he was flexing? He does not have super strong... ...greaser hair. In the meantime, I have a promising lead to investigate. I shall return before the banquet begins. Well, I know this may be asking much. Do not try to do anything too stupid in my absence, will you? You do know who you're talking to, right? I would speak with you, but not here. I'll be waiting for you outside. I'll be waiting for you outside Costa de Sol. Come quickly, for we do not have the luxury of time. Do you mean me or her? I'm assuming me. But that's probably just yeah, that's me. Okay. You just I thought you were looking at the other cat girl. And not the other other cat girl that was with Hildebrand. You've come. Excellent. With that buffoon suitably distracted, we can get to more important matters. But before we proceed, what might I call you? Fwaylin's an unremarkable name! Screw you! I don't even want to help you now! Fuck your couch! You were there when the Phantom Thief and the guys of Lady Derilda stole off with the Treaty Blade. Was there anything about our foe's disguise that struck you as particularly noteworthy? No, fuck you! Probably the eyeshadow. The perfect mannerisms. Oh. She seemed too nice. I don't know. She definitely seemed way too nice. Perfect mannerisms. Intriguing. When most would point out the sheer physical perfection of the disguise, you turn an eye within. A thorough inspection of the mask left behind at the scene revealed the tiny prism sewn into the fabric. It is this stone that allows him to change appearances at will, and yet, like you, this was of secondary concern to me. Fair enough. M movements to mannerisms to that utterly obnoxious personality. The thief did not merely look like Lady Derilda, he was her. Such a feat could not be accomplished by magical trickery alone. We are dealing with a clever and thorough criminal. Not content to rely on his ample powers of disguise. He studies his targets closely before assuming their identities. He emulates them utterly and completely. Not even the closest friends or family could detect that alt is a miss. That was a lot more thought than I put into it. Hang on a sec. Me. That's why I had a timer at some point on Streamlabs OBS. What the hell happened to it? I guess that's when the chat is open on it. Tonight it's not. All the key players arrived at Costa de Sol three days ago. When preparations for the banquet began, this would afford our thief more than enough time to study his would-be target. And yet some disguises are more challenging than others. Put yourself in the mind of our phantom, Fwaylid. If you were the thief, whose identity would you first assume? Hmm. Probably a brass blade. And then from there, we'd go a little further in. Precisely. Then you are far less useless than the bumbling inspector whose company you keep. Are you trying to compliment me or make me hate you? Really, you're doing a lot of making me want to hate you. And I don't like that. Strong in number, few of words. Able to come and go as they please. A fearsome reputation to scare away any who would draw near enough to realize something was amiss. An ideal entry into Costa del Sol for our men. Deducing as much, I made a point to question brass blades in the area. Little to my surprise, I learned that there was one man who had not been seen at his favorite alehouse for three days past. Our thief has not made a habit to wanton murder. Doubtless the poor man is lying naked in a ditch not far from here. Okay. 
Is there even a ditch around here? I guess he's probably in a bush. In addition to general security duties, each of the blades has been assigned to serve as bodyguard for one or more of the guests. If the man can tell us of his assigned charge, like it's not, his answer will reveal the current identity of our thief. Or one of the past past victims. Whatever the past victims were of that particular guard. Our thief would not have had the time to carry the unconscious man far. I will canvas the immediate area. You begin your search on the outskirts of Costa de Sol. Got it. This is it. Okay. Down here somewhere. Why am I not mounted? Let me fix that. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. I may need to hit the bathroom real quick. Let's take a look at where this person is, though. What? Oh, he is naked. All right. Briar Adrian, I don't like you. You know what? I don't like you so much. I'm going to call you Bradley from here on. Excellent. You're one of the less incompetent assistants I've worked with. Thank the gods! Please, free me from these chains before the snippers eat me alive. Oh, you'll be fine. They don't go after naked people. There. Now tell me all that you can remember about what happened to you, and try to be brief. We just arrived at Costa de Sol. Had a briefing of sorts. Master Gugaremu gave us each our orders. Who'd be looking after the uh who would be looking after him the like? Had a mind to tell the area get my bearings. Next thing I knew, I felt a thwack on the back of my head. When I came to, there I was, stripping me skivvies. Much of the chagrin of those who have to look at you. You say you received orders from Master Gugaremu. Who are you in charge of? Mary's oh, hazy. One was Morgant, father of the groom. The other was a lot of felon gent from Nimsa. Yalto Nolto. I'll try our best to remember. Were there any other guests with whom you were ordered to interact? Come to think of it, yes. There's also the steward, Lewinart. I was to review with him the schedule of events. Discuss the pro protection of key supplies, that sort of thing. Gant, Nolto Nolto, and Lewinart. Thank you. For an incompetent fool, your testimony has proved astonishingly enlightening. I don't think he likes you, Bradley. I don't think anyone likes you, Bradley. This is not gonna end well for you. I shall see this man back to the city and into the possession of some new clothes. After which I shall return to Costa del Sol to continue the investigation. Go on ahead and go on ahead of me, and for the love of gods, just make sure that imbecile doesn't cause too much trouble in my absence. He's just having fun, dude. Let him have his fun. Okay. Let him have his fun. I am not mounted up again. There we go. Hey. Can't get over that this car can jump. I wish it had a horn though. I wanted to I wanted to honk. I wanted to honk honk. I wanted to honky honk. I wanted to play honky tonk. Pretty sure these docks are not sturdy enough for cars. Actually, no, they totally are. Ah, oh, there you are, friend. Not a moment too soon. I was about to commence my investigation in earnest. Tell me, did you and Inspector Briatri in an avenue of inquiry bear fruit? Yes. Yes, it did. Gant, Yalto Nolto, and the steward Lewinhart, you say? This does not surprise me. 
Yes, I have con I had considered them all exceptionally suspicious from the start. With the Lapis Maiden in danger, we cannot afford a moment's delay. I, Hildebrand, still have a shall have our thief in shackles before the inspector returns. Fear not, friend. The inspector shall be none the wiser. <laughs> if he had hoped to nab the fiend himself, he should not have simplified the task for me so. Uh, there is one of our suspects uh, standing suspiciously under that canopy over there. Just you wait, fiend. I shall rip the mask off of your face and reveal you for the rogue that you are. That doesn't sound good. He probably would have moved on by now, too. One of them's missing. One of them's missing. Don't know who, though. Stand back, friend! The man we pursue is a criminal mastermind. The merest slip of the tongue could put our case, nay, our very lives, in danger. But you're dead. You're, like, actually dead. You're an undead person. You can't die again, and I'm pretty sure you feel no pain. But have no fear, Miss Ellie. Ready or quill that you might record my every word as I employ the time-honored art of parley. Handed down from mandible men of ages past to reveal our foe. I can think of few to I can think of few topics that would interest my readers less than your blatherings. Just catch the thief so I can have my story, would you? Rude. Don't worry, Inspector. I brought my quill and journal, too. Your adoring fans won't miss a word. Capital! This is why you are my favorite assistant, Nashu. Now behold, as I ensnare our prey with a web of words leading to this inevitable demise. Go for it. Good evening, Master Gugarepo. And a fine evening it must be. For you, most of all. Allow me to offer my most heartfelt congratulations on your betrothal to the enchanting Miss Arabella. That's... What is this nonsense? Arabella is my daughter, you... Still with the seven hells are you, anyway? Gods! Gods! <laughs> yeah, I thought it was his... <laughs> that was her... I thought she was his daughter. I forgot moment... for a few moments. Now oh, all your chocobo feathers, Gugaremu. Well, I recognize the lad. Who's Hildebrand? Agent of Inquiry and Inspector Extraordinaire. Come to save the lovely lass from the clutches of the Phantom Thief, have you? I reckon we owe the man all gratitude. I Vanis. What? I think one... I think one of these two is the thief. Assuming the, that he still is the thief. He could have moved on by now. I don't know. A phantom thief? All the dash and rot, if you ask me. That said, my betrothed must be quite the beauty indeed to have such rumors told about her. Perhaps she's worthy of me after all. <laughs> he exudes an unusual degree of confidence for such an effect. Fashion and challenged youth. Most suspicious. It's a damn sight easier of the eyes than you. <laughs> That's me, Vanus. Ever calm in the face of danger. Truly is, Father Son. A worthy heir to the Brugger Consortium. And a worthy match for my daughter, I must say. Yes, I foresee many years of prosperity for our families. Or family, I should say. Ho <laughs> ho! Which reminds me, Master Vanus. Arabella asked me to convey her gratitude to you for the golden clasp you sent months ago. It had not left her neck since the day. Of that little trinket? It was nothing. Tell your daughter the greatest treasures in the realm will be hers once we are wed. Ha <laughs> The father's suspicious. The time on a Mandeville art of parley. We'd be sleeping with the fishes now that Morgat not spoke up on your behalf. That said, nothing about the interactions between the three struck me as particularly unnatural. Yeah, but would Morgant even know who you are? I'm a little suspicious of the guy. 
A gentleman fancies a more methodical approach. Yes, everything is proceeding according to my master plan. Oops. I was supposed to, I was supposed to ta be taking this down, wasn't I? Everything is proceeding according to my master plan. I sought only to earn the trust of the families before confronting Yalton Lonto and Luinart. Who have aroused my suspicion from the start. Come, we have a thief to apprehend. I'm suspicious of Morgant. Just saying. Just saying. He's looking a little weird. Why would he know who Hildebrand is if the other two didn't? Maybe he actually just does know him. I don't know. Hmm? I'm not seeing your face around here. The East Aldern Aldenard Trading Company, are we? Why, yes, good sir. Very much with them. Well, may I might even say we are the East Aldenard Trading Company. <laughs> oh, pleasure to meet you. Do tell us, the Lapis Maiden is lovely as they say. Sainana is no slouch herself, but like me, she's getting on in years. No offense intended, my dear. She's going to murder you. I'm calling it now. Where are me manners? Yalto Nonto of the Bruguer Consortium. This is me wife, Sanana. I look forward to many profitable dealings with you and your, yours in the moons and years to come. I dare say this wedding and the journey, the joining together of our family businesses, couldn't be happening at a better time. With all manner of felled beasts and beastmen taking aim at our wares. Why, just the other day, a shipment of imported foodstuffs was laid waylaid by the Mandragoras. Nasty buggers, the lot of them. If I were 20 years younger, I'd dice them up myself and make a salad out of it. Hmm? You have heard of the Mandragoras, haven't you? I have. <laughs> they scream at you and then you die. Or they knock you out if they're babies. But yeah, they scream at you, then your ears, eardrums burst, and you bleed out, and you die. It's horrible. But of course! I once spent a year honing body and mind with the Fist of Ralgar. My fellow monks and I would chant several hundred mantra, what's it today? And your food stores were occasionally raided by their ruthless band of rogue vegetables known as the Mandragoras, yes? Would it kill you to read the Mithrili and educate yourself from time to time? There's some lot they are. Rumor has it they'll not rest until every fruit or vegetable harvested for consumption has been freed from captivity. What? What? Are you telling me that they want to free vegetables for vegetable rights? And I don't- I- and I mean literal vegetables. Not the offensive term used to describe someone who cannot function properly after a hospital. I'm going to shut up now. Well, they struck at the lotter here just days ago. Our supplies were decimated. Fear not, my lady. I was able to arrange for an emergency shipment to replace the stolen produce. It was arrived safely some time ago. Cool. What is the cat lady doing in the middle? She did some kind of weird step thing. Did she pass out? Settle down, Sainana. Forgive me, wife. She's always saying how meat is bad for her figure. And with that, I'd best go prepare me speech. Carry on, lads. Well, all right then. Criminy. None of these three were suspicious in the least. We must not give up hope. Lest we, lest he of many faces have the last laugh. Where there is a will, a gentleman shall find a way. Come, Nashu! We must move quickly, or the Lapis Maiden shall not be the only one to come to harm. You speak so fast, Inspector. Sign of a quick mind, I'm sure. Now, where was I? Give up hope. He of many faces will laugh last. The Lapis Maiden shall not be the only one to come to harm. I'm not sure that captures the Inspector's intended meaning. There's not the t uh, this is no time to be standing around. Inspector Briadrian will be back any moment now. And he's not the type to suffer excuses. 
Quite so, Miss Ellie. Fortunately, I have a plan. Let us investigate the foodstuffs from which Master Lewinart spoke of. Should we find any contradictions in his testimony, we can consider the man a prime suspect. We're looking in the wrong direction. He would have moved on. Probably. I don't know. Who's pissing from the thing? Inspector Briadro will be back for long. Come, Nashu! This is no time to delay. And... Oh, we're almost done. Yay! Now, what be over here? Foodstuffs. Well, they're foodstuffs. This isn't foodstuffs. This is foodstuffs. Okay. I was expecting a bigger supply than a little bit of food on the beach. Rates of assorted foodstuffs and a veritable host of luscious looking coconuts. Those are coconuts? Those ain't coconuts. That's glowy stuff. It's radioactive coconuts. <coughs> ah. Who hears that a man Lewinhart spoke true? He gads! Are those explosives? I spy concealed among these coconuts. Perhaps I spoke in haste. It would appear we have found our phantom thief after all. I think those are just stems, dude. Oh, those are mine, Inspector. I was looking for a place to set them down, you see, and those coconuts were looking awfully lonely. Those are yours? What the fuck? Nashu. Far be it from me to cast doubt on your choice of hobbies, but what in the name of Twelve would possess you to bring your creations to an investigation? Well, they were so helpful in jogging your memory at the one time. I just thought, does this mean you won't be needing the, this piece of driftwood either? Your enthusiasm is always admirable, Nashu, but in this event, I fear it's somewhat misdirected. I'll set the driftwood down over there and concentrate on taking notes like the astute assistant you are. Something tells me Nashu has been uh, swapped out. Huh? Say, we're most fortunate that confounding Inspector Briadrian is some otherwise occupied at the moment. If I had a chance upon this scene, he would veritably explode in rage. And let us dispose of these things before an errant ember sends us all to a fiery demise. Are you sure about that? Eh. Uh-oh. A stray ember. Don't look now, but someone has returned with the absolute worst possible time. He's too busy adjusting his glasses. We have to fix this quick. You two are supposed to be keeping an eye on the suspects and staying out of trouble, yes? The inspector will have a fit if he sees you here. But Miss Ellie! Should Inspector Briadrian come upon these explosives, the consequences would be even more dire. Berlin and I will see that the inspector keeps a wide berth of this beach. You two just get out of here and be quick about it. Quick thinking, Miss Ellie. Come, Nashu. We shall return to our from your ha. We shall return for your creations once Inspector Bradley has been led safely to the sea. From the scene, I can't read. Investigation calls us, and we must heed its cry. Those are actually explosives and not stems. Really? I'm a little concerned. That, uh... We're, we're not done. We're not actually done. Shit. I'm a little bothered by that. I wanted to continue until that particular episode was done. <sighs> Alrighty. Though Hildebrand has managed thus far to not destroy anything, he said to me something almost resembling impressed. <laughs> Indeed! But enough about Hildebrand. Fuelan and I have been wanting, waiting to hear your latest theories. We should go somewhere quiet and... An excellent idea. Ah yes, that spot just over there by the crates should suffice. There of all places! Surely we can find some more scenic. I'm not here on vacation, I'm here to solve a case. Besides, we cannot afford to have our conversation overheard. That junk-lettered beach should 
afford us some welcome privacy. Yes, Inspector. Privacy, indeed. I didn't move the bombs. The hells? Don't worry, Freyland. I'll figure out some way to lead them clear of the bombs. You mean I didn't dispose of them already? Maybe he'll mistake them for fruits with giant-ass stems. Oh, they're not even moved. They haven't even moved. Just me, is there a bit of a chill in the air? Perhaps we should go someplace warmer. I, for one, welcome a respite from the sweltering heat. Besides, this is this will not take long. If you insist, Inspector. Ah! Through the questioning of a brass blade attacked by our quarry, I've identified that three individuals must most likely to be our thief of the skies. To wit, Morgant, Yalto, Nalto, and Lewinhart. The three of us shall split up, with each of us keeping watch over... Are you two listening? Of course! Beg pardon, Inspector. You look out well, Miss Ellie. Perhaps you were right. I too feel a chill wind blowing in. Perhaps we should continue our investigation elsewhere. Oh, but there is no need. Wait here and I shall build us a fire! Oh. Um. <sighs> oh boy. Here's the driftwood. Here's wood from the crates. We're going to explode. <laughs> Methinks the inspector has taken leave of his senses. The chance of locating suitable kindling of these barren shores is infinitesimal. Driftwood. There we are. This piece of driftwood should serve perfectly. As fortunate would have it, I just happen to have a flint stone on my person. We're screwed. We're screwed. Oh no. Oh no. There is no cause for alarm. It is not blood that courses through the inspector's veins, but ice! I could not fathom a series of events that would lead such a calm and composed individual to lose his firm grip on that fiery torch. Oh my god. How did I suspect that much? What are we here? Everything is proceeding according to my master plan. Um... We're going to die. This be another challenge from the fiend. Huh? No, because it was—it wasn't on a card. It was on a piece of paper. Surely a jest, Inspector. It looks nothing like his usual card. See? Unless it's just the idle ravings of some madman. Perhaps so. But we must exercise due caution. Ah, there are two more pages. Be away from the bombs. Uh... Why are you about to sneeze? Give up hope. He of many faces will laugh last. It is not the Lapis Maiden alone that shall come to harm. It is more direct than his previous challenges, but there can be no doubt to the s as to the sender. But what is this talk of another victim? The final page holds the answer, no doubt. Final page. 
What? Oh shit. What did he say? Confounding expected Beadri and we'll meet a fiery demise. Ah! Oh. Oh shit. No! <laughs> Don't do it! Oh boy. Did the explosion already go off? No, it didn't. Okay. What am I not doing? I'm the fucking ninja. Oh boy. Ah! It's going up his butt. No, it's not. Okay. Inspector, don't move! At all. Like, you're forbidden from moving. Until we remove that. Oh my god. Don't speak. Someone get the torch off of him now. Uh, oh no. <laughs> what was that face? She sneezed, he nut the thing fell over, he nutted, and then the whole world exploded. Good job. The coconuts are still intact. Wow. Awesome. So, uh, that happened. You saw through the fiend's ruse, but how? It... Should we just come clean with that? Just call it a reporter's intuition. Are you hurt? The ringing in my ears, but though otherwise no worse for the wear. You have my gratitude. Yay! Sexual tension! Good. We needed that more. No, we did. Hildebrand and Mandeville. Were you able to learn aught of the fiend who made this ino ignoble attempt on my life? I exhausted every effort, Inspector. And I fear our quarry proves ever elusive. Excellent. Might have died of shock if you had. At any rate, our foe had revealed himself as no mere thief, but a madman who will resort to cold-blooded murder. We must redouble our vigilance, lest the others come to harm. Vigilance! Yes, vigilance is the order of the day. Sure. What in the name of the gods? Doll's teeth! Those vegetables cost a fortune! And they're ruined! Ruined! Agent of Inquiry? More like agent of injury and incompetence. You ought to replace the veg the supplies that you destroyed before the banquet begins, or I will see the entire lot of you rot in jail. Even though he spelled it gowl, it, it's jail. It's jail. Where the hell am I going now? Ugh. Such a long way. I'm saying boo. I'm saying boo. And subtitles wants me to say poo. That was yesterday. Exclusively. What was that terrible explosion from the beach? Is everyone safe? They're not. 
The fiend's artless attempt on my life has been thwarted. Sadly, our food supply did not escape unscathed. Master Gugurimu bids that the damaged ingredients be replaced with all speed. Good gods! This is no thief, this is a madman! For replacing the ingredients, I feel that will prove a difficult task. Those crates contain imported vegetables of considerable rarity, you see. Vegetables that are in particularly short supply these days, or with the Mendragoras at large. Even if I were to place the order immediately, it would take it would likely take days to arrive. And where are the vegetables? If they're from a country that I've been to at level 70, then I can just go get them. The Mendragoras. I've heard of that fell bed. Tell me, what matter of vegetables did they steal? The rarest was an import from the Far East. I do not recall the name, but it very closely resembled the Eorzean dragon pepper. Save for its color, which was a deep purple. Who thinks you dost worry not too much? Hmm. Yeah. Methinks you dost worry too much, Master Lewinart. Our course of action is clear. We need only storm into the den of these overgrown weeds and steal your precious purple dragon peppers right back! I would advise against that, Inspector. They're no ordinary mandragoras. These are no ordinary mandragoras, but are they a bloodthirsty band of killers given succulent flesh? Even the brass blades of the Gabera proved unable to resist them. Well, you have a bona fide warrior of light here, so... I don't know what you want to do about that! Boy! A formidable foe indeed. We're, on, we're only there a brave soul in our midst with a want for taking on fearsome enemies with not a shred of concern for her own well-being! Called it. Arise, friendly. Speak to me! They say I, yes, I shall vanquish these rogue vegetables and deliver the purloined goods back to their rightful owner. Do I have a say in this at all? Can I just comedically decline him and then change my mind last minute? You are truly a godsend, adventurer. One son to all of the Yellow Jackets has been charged with defending the roads from the Mandragoras. If anyone would have knowledge of their current whereabouts, it would be him. Without those ingredients, Master Kugaremu is like to cook me instead. Please, friend, you're my only hope. Sure, I guess. A gentleman would never leave a lady face danger alone. Let us away to Limsa together. So if you were saying, if I was a man, you'd leave me alone to do this myself. He better say friend if I'm a male. That That's sexist. It's still sexist either way. He'll help the female. Won't help the guy. Motherfucker. I mean, I'll take the help anyway, because I'm lazy, but... Eh? Shit, Lord. Hey, send them all! What's up? We've come for the Mendragoras. I fear you're half a bell too late. As were we, blasted all. Hear the poor merchant tell it. No sooner had we... And he opened his cargo hold to check on a shipment of vegetables, then did an onion turn on him. Screeching bloody murder. Let his own vessel in sheer terror, he did. By the time he came to his senses, it had set sail without him. Ale... Ooh, okay. To Aleport. Fisherman's bottom will carry us to Aleport. Let's be swiftly underway. Dungeon? We have dungeon. I want a dungeon. We're not gonna have a dungeon. I'm sad. We can have a dungeon fight. Oh, I want to fight vegetables in a dungeon. I don't know why. That'd just be fun. All of them would tell vegetable puns. Like, eat your greens. And vegetables can't talk, dummy. When you try to talk to one, or some shit. Am I going up or down? I'm going down, okay. 
I have a lot of quests I haven't done here yet. Oh, tiny traitor. Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that! I thought you were a feral turnip! A murderous eggplant is a summit like that! Do I look like a vegetable to you? Like, do I look like a tiny little thing with leaves coming out of my head? Do I look like a Mandragora? That's not right. Think I just do you? You'd be singing a different tune if a shot of tomato juice almost took out your eye as it did mine. My eye! Your eye- you still have both your eyes. By the time I'd regained me wits, they'd already set sail with me ship and me livelihood. I'm ruined. Ruined? If I ever see another blind onion till the enemy days, it'll be too soon. Well, alright then. All right then. Oh, they look adorable. But I'm gonna end the stream now and uh, call it a night. One, my throat's starting to hurt from doing all the voices. And two, I'm gonna probably keep gagging for a little while. And I don't want that to air. So thank you guys so much for coming by. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be live again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, hopefully with the new Hat in Time DLC, which is out tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, hope you guys are too. So thank you guys for coming by, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!